Hey church, so glad to be here with you today. If we haven't had the opportunity to meet, my name is Trevor Van Kempen. I am the student ministries pastor here at New Life Church. We made it to the end of our Fruit of the Spirit series and our last one is self-control. You know, looking back on 2020, kind of been missing a few things and missed out on some things, but the biggest thing that sticks out to me, the Olympics. Man, I'm so bummed that we didn't have the Olympics. I think they're doing it next year, but I love the Olympics, man. Like every four years, I start watching the most obscure things. I watch judo. I watch fencing. I watch gymnastics and swimming and track. And you know, I think I like to view myself as a decent athlete, but I can't imagine the amount of dedication and commitment and all of those things that it takes to become an Olympic athlete. Like how many times do you have to run on a track until you are an Olympic track star? How many times do you have to swim in a pool? How many gymnastics spins or flips or anything like that do you have to do till you're like a gymnastic, like an Olympic level or fencing or table tennis, whatever you want to say. But you know, I think that we as Christians could learn something from Olympic athletes. The, the level of dedication, commitment, how they train their whole lives. Man, they have self-control. You know, I want to open up the uh, Bible today to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 through 27, and it's going to be our soap devotional for today. And it says this, don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Man, what a powerful verse. What an easy illustration to grasp. It's so easy to understand that, man, Olympic athletes, they go through rigorous training. Man, when we're watching the NBA playoffs over the next couple of weeks, those athletes go through rigorous training. They have a whole lot of discipline in order to get to the place where they are today. But I believe that we as Christians, we shouldn't allow athletes to lead the way in what it means to live a disciplined life, a life of self-control. I think Christians should lead the way in how we have our spiritual disciplines leading the way in self-control. And so as I observe this passage, it's easy to see that athletes train, but do Christians. Man, it's so easy to see that that Olympic track star has to do uh, weight training, uh, run on practices, probably gets a coach to come in and see things in his life. He probably films himself to see what he's doing, gets good uh, a view of himself. Do Christians do that? Man, do Christians wake up and consume the Bible? Do Christians go and serve? Do Christians go? And I, I know we do, but do we do this to the level that we should? Are we training for the eternal prize more than athletes are training for a temporary gold medal? And so I, I also realize that in this verse, in this passage, uh, Paul says, I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. You know, I believe that I have to train my body because it doesn't do what it should. I have to train in the area of love because I know that it doesn't naturally love. I know that I have to train in the area of joy because naturally I'm not joyful. Patience, I'm not naturally patient. Self-control, I'm not natural in this area. And all of these fruit of the spirit, man, we have to train in these areas. And I'm not saying that it's through you, but it's by you positioning yourself, doing what you need to do and allow God to do the work in you. And man, Self-control leads to these other fruits. And so some applications for us today. Are you training for a participation trophy or a gold medal? I think Christians sometimes, we, we're just content with, we set our prayer of salvation. We sometimes turn church on on Sundays. Sometimes we miss, but it's really not a priority to us. We're not in a life group. We're not really uh, consuming the world on our own. We're just allowing other people to do things for us. If I could just be honest, that's participation medal kind of stuff. When I think that we should be going for the gold, we should be training every day. Man, our diet should look different. What we allow to go inside of us should be different. The people that we surround ourselves with should be different. The coaches, mentors, things that we do should be a little different because we're training for an eternal prize. So how are you training? 
three things as we kind of finish this thing up. Number one, get on a team. If you're not on a team, I encourage you, get in a life group. That is a way for you to get on a team, to, to push you farther than you can ever go, to keep you up through down times, but also get a coach. Man, get someone who can see things in yourself that you don't see, that can bring things out of you, that can call you out on some things. Get someone who's a coach, who's a mentor, who's a parent figure in your life, but also get to training. Man, get in this word every day. Man, get involved in our church. Get involved in serving. Get involved in leading. Get involved in giving. You know, you have to train if you're gonna wanna win the prize. Just like athletes do, Christians need to lead the way in living a life of discipline and leading a life of self-control. Let me pray. God, you're awesome and you're amazing. Lord, we worship you. We thank you, God. Begin to cultivate in us a spirit of discipline, a spirit of self-control. God, we're so thankful. God, give us opportunities to begin to work this into our daily lives, I pray. Be with every single person in Jesus' name, amen. Enjoy the rest of your day.